but I never thought about the uh, academic All-American stuff because I felt like that was a bit lofty before I got in. But then I started doing well, and then my academic counselors were like, all right, like you could be in the runner for this. So just did my best. You do have advantages in terms of having tutors at your beck and call, basically. Yeah. Yeah, business. It's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll just give you an example. Um, so, all winter, since I was rehabbing, I'll work out at 6 a.m. every day. So, I'll get up at 5, work out at 6, do rehab after that, then go watch film. Then I have class at, then I have class at 12. So, I'm at the Woody that whole time. Then I have class at 12, and then class basically to like seven and then like after that I'll have like a meeting for one of my student organizations and yeah yeah and then after that like you go home and it's like dang maybe I should call my friends but like I gotta go to sleep so that's that's what was like draining like the day-to-day just like grind is hard but yeah, yeah. Well, it it started. It became a joke. Like, I'll literally be always be on my couch. Like when somebody walked in, like just like studying, like going over modules, like just studying a lot. And it would just be a, a running joke in my house. Like, oh, there's Jordan. There's Jordan on the couch. Cause like once you like open the door, like you see me just right in front of you. So I was just like, yeah, that's just what it was. Cool, tough, yeah. KJ Hill is just saying that he obviously doesn't like Michigan, but he respects them. Mm-hmm. Do you share that same level of respect for the rivalry? Yeah, I mean, they're obviously a, a formidable opponent. Like, they're very, very good, usually. So um, so yeah, I have, a, I have a ton of respect for them. That's why, that's why I work so hard, and we work so hard to, to be able to beat them. What has Ryan Day said about that game? Has he taken the same approach that mm-hmm. Urban Meyer took? Yeah, I mean, it's everything. You you can't lose that game. Thanks. So, uh, so yeah, we just have so much respect for them, and I and I know like the game at the end of November again is gonna is gonna be a, another dogfight. They said that you guys work every single day in some way, shape, or form on that game. What is it that you do to kind of prepare for the Um. So we have this countdown clock and um, to, to the game. And then usually like we'll have workouts and we'll do like however many like push-ups, sit-ups, whatever, curls, I don't know, however many days are left. Like, so that's how many reps we'll do of whatever, like whatever Coach Mick says. So they can be like long, 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 like really long. Like in the beginning of the winter, like it's like 300 something days. So you gotta do like 300 something reps of whatever, whatever Coach says. And like <laughs> that makes you start to kind of dislike them because it's like why why are we doing this for one team? So basically a negative motivation constantly. I mean, kind of, but then you don't really understand until you actually play how intense and how much every play matters, and and it's it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be dirty. It's gonna be grimy. But I mean, that's why we work so hard just to overcome that. Obviously, the other side of the ball than where you played, were you somewhat surprised with how your offense played against Michigan defense in that game last year? No, I, I was I was never surprised about my our offense because I, I was expecting us to score every drive. But like the way we played as a defense, I was just very very proud of. So that was that was one of the highlights of my my season for sure. How do you guys balance like? working towards that game every day without like looking ahead each like during the season in mm-hmm. particular without like overlooking opponents while still getting ready for that rivalry game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not like we don't talk about any other teams, <laughs> but I mean, we just emphasize that one because we know how much it means to the state of Ohio, we know how much it means to just everybody in Columbus in general like to our families, like 
and it's bragging rights for a whole year too. So, I mean, we we know how much it means. But, I mean, we've we've messed up a couple times over the past couple of years too. Just losing games we probably shouldn't have lost. So, I mean, we understand how how important every game is. Are you terrible at Fortnite? I I am terrible at Fortnite. <laughs> I am. Cause you gotta play to get good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't play. So, me, me and my, me and my friends, uh, we'll get on like maybe every once, once like every like three months or something. And then like maps will be completely different, and like we'll be like, what is this? And then we'll just get killed. But if we win, like we're like running around hallways, like <laughs> yeah, it's like it's funny. Cause if you don't know what you're doing, you jump, you dive in, and you get killed like in ten seconds. And then yeah. Like, but like what we do, we just hide the whole time. <laughs> like we'll 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 find a bush or or something yeah, like that, yeah. and bush. we'll just hide. Yeah, hide be the bush. bush. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta be the bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just hide the whole time. We got lucky a couple times where we like found a bush, and then like the storm just like we didn't have to move anywhere like the whole game, and then ended up killing at the end. And we got first. But yeah. Uh, did you lead the team in tackles last year? Yeah. I think me and League tied. Yeah. I think. Should a safety, or is that like some kind of indication of maybe some things aren't going right, or, or like, yeah. like, do you want to lead the team in tackles? Like, would that be a goal this year, or, or? Uh, I do. The linebackers probably don't. <laughs> but right. I want to lead the tack team in tackles. It's like, that's cool. But uh, I would say like, the kinds of tackles I was making weren't like the best, or the, and they weren't like highlight plays. So like, it wasn't great for us. I would say. So I would much rather lower my tackles than uh, have the team suffer. Jordan, how yeah. much different is the atmosphere on the defensive side of the ball in, the, in those rooms this year with all the diff uh, new coaches this year as opposed to last year? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a different vibe. I mean, I mean we had great coaches last year. Um, coach Yano is one of, the, one of the best coaches I've been around. Uh, he, was, he was my specific coach for two years, and he was just the coordinator last year, but he was a great coach. Coach Grinch is one of my favorite coaches, for sure, that I've come across. Um, but this year, it's just a different vibe and a, and a different scheme as well. Um, so that's what I like. Guys are having fun. Guys are playing with swagger, confident. So, yeah, it's good.